Good morning, little campers. Van life, baby. Got the whole family in our van. Yeah, we traded the convertible lifestyle for the minivan lifestyle, and we are loving it. In this video, we're gonna tell you how to turn your stock minivan into a minimalist camper so your family can start enjoying the great outdoors. So come on, let's get this started. So this is our normal family hauler setup. Of course, you get the second row full of car seats. Um, we actually got the bench seating, which means these two seats are together. I actually debated a lot whether to get the bench seating versus a typical Dodge stow and go seating. Uh, we decided on the bench seating mostly because I am free value conscious and I was not going to pay 2800 bucks for the Sogo version. Unknown to us at the time when we bought this vehicle, bench seating is much better for camping purposes because when you remove the second row of seats, you get still use of the spacious cargo space, whereas in a Sogo version, the seats will be stored in there. Without the seats taking up the floor storage, we get incredible storage space. We always put the stove and butane on the driver's side. That's because the exhaust pipe is routed on the passenger side. I just feel a little safer with butane not next to a heat source. We use a soft bag for our clothes so it can easily conform to any storage space. To camp in the minivan, we'll have to remove the second row and move the car seat back to the third row so when it's come time to sleep, we get a spacious flat surface to sleep on. With the second row down and the throw row flat, you get this enormous space. So now you got a really spacious interior. For traveling configuration, you actually have to have the third roll up so the kids have somewhere to sit. I'll show you how easy it is to do that. Since the back seats only have one latch anchor to install two car seats, you have to utilize one of the seat belt and tighten this until the car seat is very snug. When we travel, I like to have a little bit of luxury. So we use this futon mattress. We usually store it between the front row and um, our third row. And as you can see, it's pretty soft and pretty hefty. So it doesn't really move around very much even when you break. This mattress is a little bit thick. Uh, it's because we wanted to be minimalist and use what we had around the house. But if you want to be super space saving, you can use a camping mat and that would fold easily right here and take up much less space. It's pretty good, we like this. When it's sleeping time, we'll have the cooler and the car seats in the front. And then we'll have the mattresses done in the back like this. Having a car seat and a cooler in the front also has the benefit of having all of our stuff securely stored within our vehicle, which is really good if there's bears around or if there's bad weather and you don't want your stuff to get rained on. We'll add an extra mattress for the kids. We'll sleep horizontally to maximize the space when we have the whole family in here, which is pretty comfy if you're short. Uh, if you're 5'9 like me, it's a little tight, um, but it's definitely doable. It's definitely worth it if you want the convenience of sleeping in your van and being able to have the whole family all together. And if you're only traveling with two people, we can easily stretch out lengthwise. You'll have a super comfy night of stay. And this is a better view of nature than any hotel room. We hope you get the chance to try minivan camping. And if you have any questions, comments, or just want to send us some positive vibes, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And if you like this video, please share, like, and subscribe. Happy travels! Like and subscribe! Like and subscribe! Like and subscribe! Like and subscribe!